This year has been a year full of highs and lows for everyone around the world and although this wasn't a very big year for anime with the constant delays that happened due to the pandemic, we can still look forward to the future so here's hoping that 2021 will be a better year. And with the amount of great anime sequels and continuations that are going to be released next year, the anime industry is certainly looking to make quite a strong comeback. So here is my list of the most anticipated upcoming anime sequels they will be releasing next year in no particular order. First up, after roughly two years, that time I got reincarnated as a slime is finally back with a season 2 and I can honestly say it has been a long wait. If you forgot what happened in the first season, Rimuru was basically trying to build up his country, making friends with the other inhabitants and trying to make his new world a better place. But judging from the trailer for season 2, the story seems to be more intense this time around as we see Rimuru's country in flames, apparently attacked by either the humans or an unknown force. It gave me so many questions and I'm really curious about who or what caused the attack and whether or not we'll be losing anyone in this upcoming season. With how fairly easygoing Rimuru was in season 1 and his ideals to not hurt others unless needed, I think we can expect a change in his attitude towards a lot of things and maybe he could become a more hostile force in the future. That time I got reincarnated as a slime season 2 is set to air on 12th January 2021, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Next up, Dr. Stone was the perfect show that answered what would happen if civilization hit the reset button. It had the perfect combination between science and action and I'm glad it's finally back for season 2. And in season 1, we follow Senku and his friends as they discovered new scientific inventions and ways to help with the eventual confrontation against Tsukasa. And after having discovered the message left behind by his father Byakuya, Senku finally gave the people of Ishigami village a reason to fight against Tsukasa's empire and we are finally going into the Stone Wars arc. However, I'm also certain that we won't just be getting the Stone Wars arc and we'll probably be setting up for the Age of Exploration arc as well. Are we finally going to learn about the mysteries behind the petrification light that completely changed the world? I'm sure everyone is dying to know and Dr. Stone is set to be released in January 2021. <laughs> Alright, the third anime on the list is one that is probably the most anticipated by everyone and that would be the continuation of ReZero Season 2. The first season and first part of Season 2 certainly live up to its name of having a lot of death and suffering for our protagonist Subaru. At the start of Season 2, we follow the adventures of Subaru with Amelia as they try to free the villagers from the sanctuary and also Subaru's quest to stop the events that is about to happen at the mansion. Hopefully this time we will be able to get a somewhat good ending to the situation with the villagers and at the mansion. But considering how ReZero has been with its twist and from the trailer, I think the second half of Season 2 will continue to bring more suffering and pain to Subaru. So will Subaru be able to save Ram and everyone else in time? What else is Rosewall hiding from him? And is he able to trust Akitna? I guess we just have to wait and see when ReZero Season 2 Part 2 comes back this January. It looks like January 2021 is starting off strong with another sequel as well, that being Beastars Season 2. 
Well, I recently just finished watching Beastars and did a review on it. I found myself absolutely loving the show with its deep social commentaries on the world that the carnivores and herbivores live in, which is a subtle metaphor for our own world. Although the first season gave us plenty of good world building and character developments, there are still a lot of questions that were left unanswered. With the season 2 trailer being dropped recently, hopefully we'll be getting those answers and I'm expecting the new characters from the trailer to play an integral part in the story of Beastars as well. It's definitely a relief to see Louis still alive and well. Beastars Season 2 is looking to be really amazing, so I hope everyone else is just equally excited for it as me. To continue the list of amazing anime sequels in 2021, we have The Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2. After being announced a while ago, I was beginning to worry that they might have forgotten about the Season 2. After having no news about it, they finally dropped a trailer for the show and now has been announced to be coming out in 2021. Seeing how the previous season ended on an awkward spot for me and leaving behind so much more to the story that we have yet to discover, I wonder what will be in store for Naofumi and company now that he has discovered another world of heroes also fighting to save their own world, and how will it affect how they handle the upcoming wave. The Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2 will definitely be action-packed and if it sticks to the source material, expect to be getting the Intermission arc and Spirit Turtle arc while also getting more of Luck and the other heroes as well. Hopefully, we'll see all these questions answered in Season 2. Sarani. Up next, the 6th anime on the list that I personally am really looking forward to is Kaguya-sama Love is War Season 3. With how amazing Season 1 and Season 2 was, Kaguya-sama is definitely going to be a lot of people's favourite anime of the year. And in the finale of Season 2, it ended on such a fun way and if it follows the manga after where it left off, we are probably going to see the cultural festival arc where we could possibly get a confession between Miyuki and Kaguya. Or even the Hayasaka arc which is definitely going to be amazing because because Hayasaka is best made, no doubt. Although there's only an announcement for the OVA and no date has been determined for the actual season 3, I'm sure it will be coming out during the spring or summer season. I'm sure everyone is ready to be entertained yet again by the antic and craziness from the students of Suchin Academy in the upcoming season 3. Coming in at the 7th place, we have the anime that for me rebranded the isekai protagonist and became one of my top favourite isekais of all time, my next life as a villainous all routes lead to doom or it's also called Hamefura. In season 1, we followed Katarina Kleist who was reborn as the villainous instead of the hero of a new world, trying her best to stop the eventual doom flags that will happen to her because of her role as the villainous. She does this through overcomplicated thinking and her outright stubbornness which did help her to change the course of the story and becoming friends with all the other characters. Hamefura is funny and lighthearted that shows what happens when the roles are reversed and that everything isn't written in stone. The second season would probably continue from where we left off and hopefully we'll be seeing more of Katarina and her friends trying their best to win over Katarina. <laughs> On to the next anime on the list, we have Lord Horizon Season 3 that is set to be released in January 13. Season 1 released back in 2013 and Season 2 back in 2015. And after 5 years, we are finally getting a new season for Lord Horizon and diving back into the world of Elder Tale. The first two seasons had Shiroe forming the Round Table Alliance to bring and maintain peace to the city of Akiba and then following their journey of trying to find a way to return back home. Season 3 will be continuing from there and we will see whether or not Shiroe will be able to reach his goals or will there be new challenges awaiting our hero. It was originally set to release back in October but as you have guessed because of how the world is right now, it got pushed to next year so fans will just have to wait a bit longer and I'm sure it will be worth the wait. Now! 
今ここに宣言しますパラディ島敵勢力へ宣戦布告を Taking the number 9 spot is Attack on Titan Season 4. Even if you have never watched anime before or know about anime in general, I'm sure you should at least be familiar with the name of Attack on Titan. The series started back in 2013 and has continued to become more popular as the years went by, gaining a much larger fan base than any other anime and building up the hype for the climactic fourth season. Originally, we just thought the show was just about humans fighting against Titans. But at the end of the third season, we discovered that there was more to the world than what it seemed, and that it was the nation of Mali behind the bridge of the wall way back in the beginning of the show, and the conspiracy behind the walls. This fourth season will follow Aaron and his crew as they fight against the nation of Mali for the fate of Eldia. But from the trailer, though, it seems that there will be some new plot twist with a more adult looking Aaron and the appearance of a new Jaw Titan. But if you are a manga reader, then it should be nothing new to you. Being helmed by Studio Mappa, I have no doubt that Attack on Titan will be an amazing show and possibly outdo its own season 3 or even reach new heights in the rankings. <laughs> Finally, I can't talk about a list of the most anticipated anime sequels without talking about the Shonen Jump series that keeps coming back, and it's honestly not a surprise anymore. My Hero Academia Season 5. This time in Season 5, we'll be continuing the pro hero arc and the battle against the Nomus. In the previous season, it was the big redemption arc for Endeavor as he showed that he deserved the title of number one hero. And for the next arc, we should be on the training arc that will have our main hero, Class 1A, against 1B, all the way up to the Endeavor Agency arc. And we will hopefully be getting to see the villains take the spotlight in the Liberation Army arc, which is definitely one of the more unique shonen arcs out there. The hype for season 5 is real and will be scheduled to be released in spring 2021, so I'm definitely excited for its release. So, what are the upcoming anime sequels in this list that you are most hyped for in 2021? Is it the action packed Attack on Titan, the subtle psychological mystery of Re Zero, or the lightheartedness of Hamefura? Either way, 2021 is certainly a stacked year, and those are just the sequels that have been announced. So, let's hope that it will be a smooth and better year for all of us. I'm personally really looking forward to the psychological thriller shows like Re Zero and B Stars. Well, Kaguya sama will definitely be the go to comedy anime that I will be enjoying. Well, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. It's probably going to be my isekai choice for next year as well. So, what are the animes that you are most looking forward to next year, or did I miss any of your favorite series that are going to come out in 2021? Let me hear your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to give the video a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content in the future. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe, everyone.